if you want to learn sql or work on mysql database projects you must have mysql database server installed and running on your computer hi my name is pradna kurnikam i am a freelance web developer and udemy instructor in this video tutorial we will learn how to download and install mysql database server on a computer running mac operating system in my case i am using mac os 11 which is also known as mac big sur you may be using a different version of mac os but the installation steps given in this video will be similar so let's get started on your mac operating system open a web browser and enter mysql.com This is the official website of MySQL which is acquired by Oracle Corporation in 2010. Click downloads menu to open downloads page. On downloads page you will find MySQL community GPL download link. GPL means general public license. As MySQL database is free to use it comes with GPL license. Click MySQL community GPL download link. Here. On MySQL Community Downloads page, there are several products by MySQL. But for this installation, we only need MySQL Community Server. Go ahead and click the link. On MySQL Community Server download page, at the time of recording of this video, the latest MySQL version is MySQL 8.0.28. If you find a new version, you can either download the latest available version or you can click this looking for previous GA versions link. Select archives. The MySQL version you want. Your operating system version. And you get the download links for the installer. But in my case I am going to download the latest release. So I will close this window. On this MySQL community server download page, from select operating system, if it is not automatically selected, choose Mac OS. And from select OS versions, select Mac OS 11 x86 64 bit version. If you are using Mac OS 10 or a codename version like Yosemite, Al Captain, Sierra, High Sierra, Mojave, or Catalina, make sure Mac OS 10 is selected here. On this page there are multiple download links and you can see there is a DMG archive file. The DMG files are disk image files which normally contain program installation files for Apple applications. I will go ahead and click the download link. If you want you can sign up for an Oracle web account. This is an optional step, so I will skip the sign up window by clicking this no thanks just start my download link. And save the file to my computer. To save some time I already have downloaded the file in my downloads folder, so I will cancel this download. Close this window and go to my downloads folder. I will close this web browser window. Now let's start with MySQL installation. Double click the downloaded.dmg file. It will extract and open a .pkg file which is a mac os installer file. Double click the .pkg file to start the installation. If you see a security warning like this, click allow. Click continue. 
If you want, you can read this software license agreement. We must agree the software license agreement to continue with the installation. So click continue and agree button. The installation files will take 780 MB of hard disk space. So make sure you have sufficient disk space available on your computer. If you click this customize button, you will get a window from where you can select or unselect a package to install. Here MySQL server is the main database software. The MySQL test installs some test binary files. Preference pane is useful to start and stop MySQL server instance while launch D support automatically start MySQL instance when you start your computer. If you have no reason to skip a particular package, I will suggest you to use the default options. I will go back to the standard install option. You can change the install location and restrict access of the application for other users from this change install location option. In my case, there is single user and single partition on my hard disk. So these options are not available. So I will go ahead with the defaults and and click install button. Enter your Mac user password here. and click install software button. It may take a couple of minutes or less to copy the installation files on your computer. The MySQL server installation is complete. But we are not done yet. There are additional configurations which are required to use MySQL Server. Here on configuration window, we need to select a password encryption method. The default option is a new and strong authentication method which uses SHA-256 encryption. The use of legacy password is suggested only if you want to make this installation compatible with MySQL 5 version. In our case, we don't need MySQL 5 compatibility. So I will use the latest password encryption and click next. Please note this is very important step. So pay all your attention. Just like operating system installation, we create a new user or administrator who will be using that operating system. In case of MySQL, by default, it creates a username called root user. The root user is an administrator and has all the privileges of MySQL database. We can later add additional users with full or limited access. But since the root user is the main user, we must use a very strong password. And most importantly, remember the password or note it down somewhere. In my case, I will use a simple password like pass1234. But in your case, make sure to use combination of letters, numbers and special characters. Also make sure to check this box to start MySQL server once the installation is complete. Click the finish button. And once again, enter your operating system user password. And click OK. It will take a couple of minutes or less to complete the configuration. And if you see this, thank you for installing MySQL server message, then congratulations, you have successfully installed MySQL database server on your computer. Click the close button and delete the installation files. Now let's open MySQL server to confirm if it works. From desktop, go to system preferences.
Here you will find a MySQL icon. Double click to open the window. Under Instances tab, you will find the installed MySQL version and the status of MySQL server. Currently MySQL server instance is in a running state. We can click this Stop MySQL Server button to stop the instance. You need to enter your operating system user password. And now MySQL Server instance is stopped. Please note, in order to use MySQL database server, your MySQL instance must be in running state. So before logging in to your MySQL database server, if you find your MySQL instance isn't running, click the Start MySQL Server button to start the instance. Also make sure you check this box saying Start MySQL when your computer starts up. If you check this box, you don't need to manually start MySQL Server instance every time. It would automatically start when you boot your computer. I will start my MySQL Server instance. Enter Mac operating user password. Click OK. Now under configuration tab, you will find the location where MySQL has been installed. Copy this base directory path. And close the window. Open Launchpad and search for Terminal. And open the Terminal program. Paste the MySQL base directory path we just copied. and type slash bin slash mysql space hyphen u this hyphen symbol is also known as dash or minus symbol then type root space hyphen p and press enter please note here you need to enter the mysql database password you set up during installation. Enter the password. In my case, pass 1234 and press enter. If you see this MySQL prompt, then congratulations, you are successfully logged in to your MySQL database server. Here we can execute MySQL statements. Before we execute a couple of test SQL statements, let me show you one important step. I will log out of MySQL server using exit command. Now if I have to log in again to MySQL server, I will have to use the same full path again. It's little irritating to remember and enter the whole path again and again. If I try to directly enter the login command like mysql-u root-p press enter and it won't work. The solution is we can add this mysql path in bash profile and directly execute the login command. Let me show you how. From terminal go to home directory using cd tilde which is a shortcut to go to home directory. In order to see if the bash profile file exists, enter ls-al.b star, press enter. If the bash file does not exist, create the file using touch dot bash underscore profile press enter check again if the file exists using ls dash al dot b star hit up arrow to open previously executed command and press enter now this time you can see bash profile file exists now edit the file using open dash t dot bash underscore profile 
press enter now enter these lines exactly i have given here export space capital path equal to dollar in curly braces capital path close the curly brace colon slash usr in small letters local slash mysql slash bin save the file close the window close terminal window relaunch the terminal window and see if mysql login command works now mysql dash u root dash p in some older versions of mysql it would work without any issue but if you are still getting such error message i will show you another method first of all delete the bash file using sudo rm dot sudo rm space dot bash underscore profile enter operating system user password now enter sudo nano slash etc slash paths press enter and in this file enter the mysql bin folder path right below the last line like slash usr slash local slash mysql slash bin save the file using control o press enter and close the file using control x exit and close the terminal window now relaunch the terminal window and type mysql dash u root dash p press enter this time enter mysql root user password press enter and this time it worked as expected now before we end this tutorial let me execute a couple of sql statements to confirm mysql database is working fine type show databases semicolon and press enter this sql statement will list all databases in your mysql database create a new database using create database and the name of the database in my case i am using pn tutorials here pn tutorials is the name of the database we are going to create you can create a database name of your choice press enter again type show databases and sure enough our database was successfully created here we can confirm that our mysql database was installed successfully and working without any issue i will log out of mysql server and close the terminal window if you want to learn more sql statements you can check out my this sql course on udemy i have provided the link in description congratulations once again for completing this tutorial here we learn how to download and install mysql database server on mac os 11 big sur i hope you understood the installation steps given in this video tutorial now it's your time try the installation on your mac computer if you encounter installation errors or didn't understand something feel free to ask me questions in the comments section of this video Finally if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching see you in the next video